Hello, my name is Jerry McCarr and today I'm going to give a quick overview of the OneAPI CLI utility and how you can use it to browse OneAPI samples, read their documentation, and create a local copy on disk. The OneAPI CLI utility is installed with the Intel OneAPI based toolkit as well as the IoT and HPC toolkits. You can download the toolkits as well as the OneAPI CLI utility in the links provided. The OneAPI CLI utility is available as an open source project on GitHub. First, you'll want to run the Intel OneAPI command prompt from the start menu. This will automatically configure the OneAPI developer environment for you. You can then launch the OneAPI CLI utility by running OneAPI-CLI. Note that if you're behind a proxy, you'll want to make sure your command terminal is able to download content from the internet. The OneAPI CLI utility is a menu-driven application. The first menu options we're presented with are to create a project, view OneAPI docs in a browser, and quit. Let's take a look at some samples with the goal of creating a project. You can press one or use the arrow keys to highlight your choice and press enter to select it. Navigate the tree and choose the option that works for you. I'm going to choose CPP. As I mentioned, I'm performing these steps on Windows. If you have a Linux system, you might see a different set of samples than the ones shown here. We are presented with a tree view of available samples. At the top, there are three getting started samples, so I'll arrow down to Array Transform. In the right pane, you can see the description of the sample. Another feature of OneAPI CLI Utility is that it will give you a heads up if you are missing any dependencies required to build a sample. If I arrow down to Matrix Multiplication, we'll see text in red that's letting me know I'm missing the Intel ICC compiler, so I won't even try to create this particular sample on this machine. Lastly, I'll arrow down to Vector Add. There are no missing dependencies for the sample, so it looks good, and I'll press enter. I'm now presented with the Create Project screen. I'm being prompted for a directory to contain my projects and the name of the directory where I'd like to copy the sample. I'll choose C, temp, and press enter twice. You can see that the destination path has been filled out for me, and I'll press enter a third time to create this project. I'm now given two choices. I can quit to go back to the command prompt and start working on this project, or I can view the readme file and then quit. I'll tab over to the view readme and quit and then press enter. The OneAPI CLI utility prints the readme to the console here. From here, you can navigate to the project that you just created and follow the instructions in the readme to build and run it. I'll print out the initial portion of the readme where we can see that this project builds with NMake. Let's go ahead and build it and run it and see what it says. And it says success, so we know that it worked. If you want to browse other samples and create other projects, just run OneAPI-CLI again from the command line to jump back into the tool. Last but not least, if you're looking for more information, select option 2 in the main menu to view OneAPI docs in a browser. Note that you need to be in a graphical environment for this to work. An SSH session won't do it for you. Selecting this option pulls up the OneAPI landing page where you can find additional toolkits and documentation on the entire range of OneAPI tools. So that's browsing samples and creating projects with the OneAPI CLI utility. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to hit the like and subscribe buttons, and if you have time, let me know your favorite animal down in the comments. Mine's a squirrel.